hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i created this violet quartz or amethyst crystal look i have just a little swarovski accent because my client she had to at least have a little bling so i show you guys how i applied those so these are some of my inspiration pictures for this look um i wanted to create you know some of the tones textures and just overall aesthetic that those pictures had my client came in knowing that she wanted to have amethyst nails or some purple stone type nails so i just kind of went from there um this is my client's previous set after about three or four weeks they look great actually and i did do a video on that so go ahead and check those out i filed all her product down um i'm just showing you guys how her nails look one of them was broke from last time if you've seen the previous video so you see that sculpt her nails are in great condition she does have a little bit of hyperpigmentation so you guys just look past that her nails look beautiful so i filed the product down i already prepped the nail i'm sorry i didn't capture that on video because i knew this was going to be a lengthy process the video didn't come out lengthy but the time it, it took me sitting there was lengthy so i wanted to go ahead and knock that stuff out so i did prep and everything with the skiver bit as i usually do took down pro the product very low if you see in any inconsistencies with the nails it's because there's you know some product kind of left on there and there's areas where there isn't so i um like i said i prepped them i cleansed them i'm gonna head i applied the clear rubber base as you've seen to all the nails went ahead and cured and i'm gonna go ahead and take um this liner brush this little straight brush and um flat brush sorry and i'm using the art gel from poochie's nails the white one and i'm going and adding the lines with the brush and i'm using this flat brush to go ahead and blend out and fade out that line to kind of create that depth that streak that you'll see running through the crystals and it looks like that crack is you know coming kind of towards you and fading away deeper into the stone um, you can achieve that look by exactly how I'm doing, creating a line and just blending out the edge. So then it looks like it's kind of, you know, fading away deeper into the nail. So I'm just blending out the edge and just feathering it out. And you can play around with this. You could do it so many different ways. You can layer it so many ways. So it doesn't have to go in this exact order. You could just use, you know, this technique for inspiration. So I'm taking some foil. It's like a opal kind of oil spill type foil. And I'm just pressing it on the nail just to again, add, you know, a depth, a little bit of something. You'll see that little bit of iridescent type look in the background. So these are the colors that I'm using today. I'm going to be using a few different tones of purple you don't want this look to be just the same tone of purple just you know lighter or darker we're using like blue based purples pink based purples like the barnier type ones this is a deeper darker wintry vampy purple and i'm also using this holographic clear foil i'm going to leave links down below to amazon where you can purchase a lot of these things um gold leaf i'm using uh, the madam glam no wipe top coat this time and i'm distributing these colors i'm just using a nail form you can use a cute little mixing tile that you have i'm just using the the back of the form and getting busy so i'm just going to be mixing these colors with clear um the top coat to shear them out we're going to be working in layers we want these colors to be um transparent so that we can see the depth that we're adding now um you just want to kind of play around with the ratio um just to know how transparent you want it some of these colors the one i'm mixing currently is a little more transparent on its own that's the perfect purple from madam glam and it's really the one that that is takes most of the tone of the nail so if you're interested in that shade of purple it is perfect purple from madam glam and you can use code tabitha for 30 percent off so i am using um just a gel brush and i'm picking up some of those colors a few of those different colors and i'm just blending it over the the nail with what we already have applied so um at this point let me run it back I've applied the clear rubber base. Um, well, I prepped the nail, everything. Applied the clear rubber base, went ahead and applied our, you know, initial little white lines. 
and then applied a little bit of that foil this is just the order i've gone in again you can switch this up and now i'm using the shades of purple that i've mixed with clear to make them transparent and i'm just applying them on the nail as i feel um when you have them transparent you can go ahead and build up the color you know just add a little more and you can build up the opacity of the color but we do want to have them sheer again so we can see that depth so i have you know no rhyme or reason i'm just applying them randomly so i went ahead and cured and i'm using this a uh, little shimmery color i think it's a really beautiful color um with that iridescent gold shimmer and just applied that again just randomly in areas that don't have anything and then cured that so now you see i'm going in um like i did initially and adding more of those you know white little cracked type lines and fading the edges again to um, make it appear like it fades deeper into the crystal or our nails um, so you can see i'm just kind of crossing the lines you don't want it to make you don't want to make it look intentional i just want to add that i am curing in between each and every one of these layers i'm doing a lot of back and forth switching hands a lot of in and out of the light so i'm not showing it but just know that i am you know having her put her hands in and out the light so after i added the layer of the white lines again um, I'm going in and I'm adding some more of that um, Madame Glam Perfect Purple primarily. I am going to add the other tones as well, again, to add depth and character to the nail. But that uh, Madame Glam Perfect Purple is the primary tone that I wanted these nails to be. Um, so I'm going to mostly apply that. And that's the one that I probably made the most sheer. It's kind of a sheer purple to begin with, but I wanted that to be the most sheer um, so I could apply it over the entirety of the nail and you'll still see, you know, all those lines and that foil and everything we added, um, you know, beforehand. So, um, after I get to this point, I'm going to go ahead and take a regular nail polish. This is a French manicure white from Mia Secret. I use Color Club, just a, a good white nail polish. And I'm going to take a little brush and some acetone and I'm just going to apply this on the nail like you see and just manipulate it how I see fit. I don't want to add a lot of this um, because I don't I don't want a lot of stark white. And honestly, if these, you know, weren't nails, if I was doing this for another art application, I might not have done this step but because they're nails i want the white to kind of stand out because you know people are going to be seeing them from a, a greater distance and not for a long time so you want to portray the detail you know well and uh, at the same time we do have a lot of depth a lot of things you're going to have to look up close but that's you know for the customer to appreciate as well but this way you can clearly see there's you know a bright white and kind of sets that marble off so that stands out even more hopefully that makes sense but i'm just trying to explain to you the you know the choice in, a, in aesthetic that i made so i'm just just applying um the streaks to the nail as you can see and again manipulating it with acetone um taking some away and you know putting more on and applying it where i see fit at this point we haven't encapsulated the nail we haven't even used any builder gel this does go against what a lot of people would think but her previous set was done in a, a similar way basically the same way and again it lasted very well um so i am essentially encapsulating soft gel in hard gel that's what this set is and it's a hybrid set in another kind of way so i'm using that clear holographic foil and the foil transfer gel and i'm just going to apply that transfer gel just kind of again randomly over the nail this is another element that's going to you know be more eye-catching add a little shine and you know that little spot of that rainbow color to it um i will add i let the nail polish dry generally if i don't if i just like manipulate the um nail polish and immediately apply the foil it'll transfer without using the foil transfer gel 
Um, but you can use regular just foil transfer glue, the one that air dries as well. So um, next I'm using the cool gel and I just applied a very thin layer and I'm using um, the gold leaf and using some tweezers and just going to apply that around the edge. Just very, again, haphazardly around the edge. I don't want it to look like a perfect straight outline or anything like that. Um, again, it's a choice I made. If you want to, you know, just do a nice outline, eh, you can. Um, some people use transfer foil, like gold transfer foil in place of um, gold leaf. Again, it's just a choice and aesthetic. You absolutely can do that as well. So again, I'm just going to be outlining these nails with this gold leaf. It's kind of, you know, it can be kind of challenging to mess with. You can see I was adding a little glitter flake and I was like, no, I don't want to do that. I thought about putting the little iridescent, you know, pieces on there um the mylar but i didn't want to do too much i mean there's a lot going on but i feel like that was just going to make it way too much so i went against that so after i apply this to the edge of all the nails i go ahead and cure i wanted to add some more of that um this little purple shimmery polish back into it i like that little gold that it kind of has iridescence and i blend it a little bit with that um, gold leaf around the edge and now I'm going to go ahead and start the encapsulation process I'm just going to apply a thin layer to all the nails at first because I wanted to go ahead and get that um, the leaf uh, sealed down I don't I didn't want to start encapsulating which I've done it before getting a bigger bead and you're moving you know your glitter whatever you're trying to encapsulate down the nail where it doesn't need to go so I just want to start with a thin layer cure that so I know that gold leaf isn't going anywhere when I pick up the bigger bead so I'm going ahead and taking that bigger bead I'm using my brush that I always use I, it's a um, a filbert brush got it from Hobby Lobby or Michaels I say it all the time and um always you can check out alpha brushes um if you're looking for a good you know gel brush at a decent price and the link will be down below so you can see again i'm going to be applying a slip layer before i apply my bigger bead that means a layer i left wet so when i applied that bigger bead i could just move it down the nail effortlessly it just blends with that previous wet layer so once i get that all encapsulated um i went ahead and cleansed off the tacky layer i shaped it off camera as i always disappoint y'all and do and um she actually changed her shape i didn't even mention that we did do a um, shape change and um cut down a lot of length again i'm sorry i didn't capture that um but i refined the shape off camera and now i'm just finished filing i'm using the carbide bit from poochie's nails it is a fine grit i just want to go ahead and be able to debulk quickly i you know i admit it i tend to use a little more product than i should to encapsulate it can be a little bit of a waste it's not as bad as when i was a young nail tech but i still do i want to play it safe than sorry so i went ahead and used that carbide bit and now i'm using the cross cut bit just to go ahead and seal around the cuticle area make that nice and flush and add a little texture to the um, surface of the nail so that our top coat will um, adhere properly. So I'm using the Nail Supply Glamour Crystal Gel. I'm using these unfoiled Swarovski AB crystals that I got from Ocean Nail Supply. I don't know if they still have them. They're hard to find. And I'm using the Gold Little Bullion Beads. So I applied the crystal gel in the area that I um one of the stones to be and you always want to sink the stones and the beads into the crystal gel so you want a little bit of an excess if you just barely apply some on the surface you're not going to have good adhesion you need the edges of those crystals and those beads to be sunk into that crystal gel um, if you have bad experiences with crystal gel i mean it could be a poor product um but also it could 100% be the application. So you can see I do have an excess of gel and I'm just sinking that in. You don't want it on top of the crystals, but on the edge of the crystals to kind of hold it in like a um, diamond is prong set into a ring or, you know, whatever. So um, the excess of the gel, you always want to blend out and feather out so you don't have a line of demarcation where you can see this lump 
even though it's clear, you could see like an actual, you know, lump of clear gel. So after you sink them into that gel, go ahead and take a brush or a tool or something. If it needs to be blended out, go ahead and blending it, blend it out before you cure. So I'm using the two in one um, seal it up pen from Daily Charm and you can use code Tabitha for 10% off. They also have a um, great crystal gel as well. Um, it's in a little tube. So if you're on their website, again, check it out. So I'm just going around the crystals and over the beads so we can try to protect the color on the beads. And then I'll go ahead and cure. Lastly, I'm going to be top coating the nail, the best part, as you can see, so beautiful. I'm using the Kiera Sky LED no wipe top coat. This is a top coat that's supposed to go over um, the enhancement and not gel polish as it could crack. So um, we're technically not applying it over gel polish. The gel polish is encapsulated deep within the nail. So um, I feel good and comfortable about using this top coat. And I really do enjoy it. I've had it for a while. I've bought a couple bottles. Again, I don't use it often because as you guys know, I use gel polish on the finished filed surface of the nail often but in this situation i am not so this is our last step to our look of course is this top coating and we're all finished um my client she had to have a little bling so i love the little bling accent those stones um again they're from ocean nail supply they're unfoiled um crystal a b swarovski because i know i'm gonna get questions so um if you love this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up i personally love this so much i watched it with no sound just appreciating the satisfaction of building those layers so i hope you guys did too um don't forget to follow me on instagram as well top of the sky underscore nails thank you for watching you guys bye